course. I won forever, but I had to resign. I but yeah. what made you resign and give up your title? But the truth and crown? is, may nagsumbong sa akin galing dito sa atin. This person I'm mm -hmm. referring to mm -hmm. took advantage of you. Mm -hmm. Napatawad mo na bang ba taong yon? Magandang araw, Pilipinas, at sa ating mga kababayan sa ibang bansa, welcome to TikTok with Aster Amoyo. Sa araw na ito, mga kaibigan, ay sa nananampong special na personalidad ang ating makakakwentuhan. I love this lady. Mga kaibigan, the Darna Star, the former beauty queen, the Lord Shepherd. Mga kaibigan, the one and only, Anjanette Abayari! Hi, Kita! So, kumusta ka naman? I mean, update mo naman kami. Not like just me, but of course our viewers. Anong mga bago kay Anjanette Abayari? Well, nag, you know, I'm still doing my ministry on YouTube. I've over 700 videos na ang nagawa wow. ko. Wow! You know, I, I've been blessed to learn how to edit my own videos. Uh, tinuruan ako ni Lord talaga. Nasa, nakatatak lang ako dun sa computer ko. To, I learned it in seven days. Oh, wow. I prayed about it and said, yes. if this is what you want for me to do, show me how to do it. And he gave and he told me, he showed me how, he taught me. So I was able to narrate and produce and everything. So ngayon, mga 700 videos na ang mga nasa... Alam mo siya ang nag guide sa'yo. Oh, no, sempre. Right? Lah oh. Lagi dapat siya ang nag-guide in everything uh -oh. that we do, right? We right. always have, he has to always be the, yung asawa ko kasi hindi kumikilos kung walang word from God. Uh -oh. So, doon ko natutunan yun. The, yeah. na before you do anything, always ask. Because you don't, you know, like, we always have, men have their own, like, many are the plans of a man, but the Lord always prevails, right? So, marami kang gustong gawin, pero yung talagang mang mangyayari is whatever the Lord wants. Yes. So, why don't you just ask Him? So, He can guide you to do the right thing instead of wasting your time. There are decisions we make in life that are life-altering. If we make the wrong one, it really, it will really alter our lives, di ba? Yes. Pero, pag, pag si Lord ang lagi mong kausta, up and tinatanong, you'll always be on the right path. So, yun ang ano ko. Pero marunong ka pa rin magtagalan. Ah, yay! Diba? Oo, diba? I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> Kasi parati English yung usapan nyo dun sa bahay, yes. pati yung mga bata. Eh. I know. Oo, yeah. diba? Pero at least what's important I'm is... I'm trying talaga. Like, um, mm. I speak Ilongo better than Tagalog. Oh, you know, because I really, I grew up in Iloilo, so... I can speak Ilonggo like that, no problem, you know, without an accent. Pero my Tagalog is still a little bit bulol, but it's okay. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Oh, good. Hindi. Good, kasi meron kaming moving gagawin. Ang bago ko din. Oh, yes. Kwento mo nga. Yeah, so we're actually in the middle of writing the script. We're almost finished with the script. Who's doing it? Who's doing the, who's writing the script? Um, My my producer, writer, friend in the um the U.S., her name is Cecil Cinco. I've actually worked with her before. She was actually my producer for like this movie. I did in the US and also like this pilot for a TV show na parang Philippine, LA, parang you know, balik bayan pero dun sa states naman. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know why, but her name kept popping up lang sa ano ko, isip ko. So, tinawagin ko siya na, um, we're thinking of producing this movie, my husband and I. It's all about, you know, a boy that was, that grew up in Tondo, but that the Lord rescued. Oh. You know, like he changed his life, you know, and his life became a life full of miracles, you know, a life serving the Lord. Nag-iba talaga yung buhay. And it's based on a true story. Yeah, yeah. So, Ganda. so yun. So we're do, we're here. We're gonna look for the right cast for it. I'm gonna be in it also. <laughs> so this is going to be shot in the Philippines. Half shot here. Ah, talaga? Half shot in the U.S. Wow. Kasi yung, yung first half ng buhay ng boy is here. Okay. Tapos nung second half is already in the U.S. Okay. Actually, the parts we're gonna shoot here are all mostly in Tondo, siguro. Mm -mm. You know, yung mga, kasi doon siya lumaki. Yes, oo. Ma, pero I were looking for somebody who's, who knows martial arts, who knows how to sing, and who knows how to uh, play guitar. <laughs> Na, I don't know if anybody here is like that, pero yung ang kailangan namin yung actor na marunong talaga ng martial Now, arts, yung ganun. How old is the boy? Siguro mga 20s. Ah, early uh, 20s. Pen, oh. Oh, early 20s. Mm, Marami niya. Early 20s. Grabe, ang Na, dami niya. Hindi masyadong sikat, pero marunong mag martial arts. Okay. And, you know, na, Baka pwede rin marunong kumanta, pwede rin. Ay, marami ang alam niyan. niyan. Diba? Sige, oh, I can recommend to you yeah, some yeah. names. Okay, so, and then diba? also the director. We don't oh. know, like a good action director here. Uh -huh. Tsaka stunt director para sa fight scenes. Kasi, right. kasi di ba, 
mga taga-tondo is uh, mga astig, di ba? Uh Oo. -oh. Kailangan may uh -oh. mga maraming fight scenes yan. Eh. All right. All so, right. ayun. And I will be playing the mother. <laughs> oh, the boy. Mother, no. Yeah. Uh Oo. -oh. Yeah. So, Speaking of uh, the word mother, mm -hmm. you are a mother of two boys. Yes, Two teenage sons. Good-looking, yes. uh, handsome men. Yes. Aiden diba? and Ashton. Aiden oh. is 17. Wow. Turning 18 in December and Ashton is 14. And Ashton is six foot two na. Oh my and Aiden God. Aiden is like like six feet na. <laughs> yeah, and and uh -huh. they're both extremely talented. You know, I, I'm so blessed. I they're, don't think they got it from you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then you don't sing it. <laughs> You're right about that. Na sabi ng pinsan ko sa akin, ay lahat ng hindi mo magawa, gawa ng mga anak mo. <laughs> Binawi ng mga anak yeah, mo. Yeah, they can diba? do it. They can sing. Ashton is a prodigy. He can he can play the piano. He's never taken a lesson in his life. Wow. Classical. I think that is mo yung time. Oh, hindi oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He diba? played. So he played. played. Now yeah. he sings also. Wow. He just did a little a musical ano niya, with his musical class in school like Bruno Mars siya. wow <laughs> tapos si Aiden naman is a crooner nagulat nga ako sa kanya at his age puro mga classic ah, or standard diba? songs ang Frank Sinatra yes. and Engelbert Humperdinck oh, yung mga yeah, ganun right. yung gusto oh, niya yung oh, kung oh, bakit oh, oh. pero pero sila merong marunong na makakarelate ang husband mo yeah you know Kasi, favorite yeah, niya <laughs> yeah yeah but I don't even know how to sing so I don't know where oh. they got it from <laughs> <laughs> not from you for not sure. from me for sure <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, and then my, also my other, Aiden loves to cook. Like now half the time I don't have to cook anymore kasi siya na lang nagluluto kasi gusto din niya mga healthy-healthy ganun, so. Who does the cooking? Me, talaga. Oh, talaga? Yeah, like Gary. I, I, yeah, Gary just tells me what he likes and then I cook it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's funny because every day yung ano namin, daily, I guess our daily routine is when I wake up, he's already been awake for like a couple hours because he's always worshipping in the morning and he, or he's always studying. You know, reading the Bible and talking to God. And when I wake up, it's usually because I hear a song sa YouTube na, worship song na nagugustuhan ko or nagigising ako. And that's how we start. And then, you know, we'll Bible study and then I do my own at the same time. And then I also have a weekly Bible study with some ladies that we, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's like our daily routine. And then after mga couple hours, ayun na, bababa na ako kasi I have to make food na. Usually I just like to have eggs and rice and something. <laughs> That's really how we eat. I'm Filipina like that, okay? <laughs> Eggs and rice and whatever. Pero pati to sino marunong na ako from scratch? Uh, oh, di ba? Na there's a lot of yeah, mga ganun. And, and he likes a lot of fish and I do too. So, you know. And vegetables. Oh, uh, pero ako gusto ko talaga breakfast Jeprock. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and Jeprock. Ah, hindi wala bang Jeprocks dito? Wala. Yung ano, yung parang dried fish. Ah. It's See? what it's called in the States. I thought okay. it was here also. Parang okay. dried fish na. What is it? Parang, I don't know what kind of fish. From Cebu, yung ano, uh, so, parang tuyo. Uh -oh. Parang tuyo, right? Yeah, yeah, or right, right, parang, right, Basta right, yung mga right. maliliit, the crispy. Uh -oh. Masarap, maalat, everything. Uh -uh. It's so good with vinegar. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. Favorite. Yeah. So I just, we right. make breakfast. Then when my, my sons are already at school, or kung sa summertime ngayon, they sleep till whenever they want. Kasi it's summertime. You know, and then Aiden will make the breakfast for the two of them. Ganun lang. Tapos, we don't really go out. I don't go out. Can you believe I don't go out much? <laughs> but I haven't been wanting to go out. Like what you said, what I said earlier, actually, oh. you are a change, Anjanette Avayari now, yeah, since you I met your so, yeah. husband. Mm. And I think uh, it becomes you. Oh, thank you. Diba? Balikan naman natin okay. when you were a kid. Okay. Sino si AJ when oh, she when was, I was a, kid? a kid? I was a tomboy. Really? I am the eldest of four kids but I had all girls. No 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 one boy, two I girls. Boys, Pero no. yung mommy my, my mom had seven brothers and sisters. So I had a lot of cousins. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in Iloilo. So I was the oldest but all my cousins and my brother were all boys. So mahilig ako mag ano mag I love to um, I I love to use a slingshot. Yeah. I love making mud pies. I love climbing trees. Uh -oh. yun lahat yun. Yung paglalaking sa ano. Talaga gusto ko yun. Uh -oh. Yun gusto ko. I don't know. That was me when I was young. Right. Uh, and then and you know like my lola tried to make me play the piano when I did for a while and then I stopped. And um, but she didn't like it. I just you know it was like whatever because uh -oh. I was being made to go uh -oh. to do it. But I enjoyed lang talaga. But I was already like in the mga musical plays. I did piano recitals. So you know I guess it was already in our my mom's side of the family is very musical oriented and talented so I guess it was already in me because I love music but I didn't um, touch it for a while you know because I just want to I love sports I love I'm very competitive and very studious when I came here to the States I was only eight but the important thing my daddy and mommy is my studies 
So I had to put that first. So wala akong ginawa kung hindi mag-study. The whole time until until high school, until I graduated, I had to be the number one kailangan. Wow. You know, so I was also the oldest grandchild. So I had to be the one that everybody looked up to. So there was a lot of stress and, you know, diba, syempre, it was, um, parang I had a lot and of pressure. Um, pressure, yeah, yeah, pressure talaga, high uh-oh, pressure. Uh-oh. Pero I was able to do it naman, you know, I was able to get good grades. I was accepted nga sa, in my high school, I was president, student body president of my high school, president ng Scholarship Federation. Back in the U.S.? Ng, yeah. Okay. President ng National Honor Society. Lahat wow. na lang president ng Spanish right. Honor Society. Tapos, I got accepted nga to um, Annapolis, the Naval Academy. My senior year, I applied and I was accepted for nuclear engineering. I don't know if anybody knows that. Many, maybe not. But uh, and I wanted to be an astronaut. But I was there was only nuclear engineering sa Annapolis. Eh. So I went there. Pero hindi ko nagustuhan na halos 80% or maybe more lalaki. Okay. Uh, so na ilang This time baliktad. Yeah. <laughs> Ayaw, baliktad. Oh. So sabi ko, ayoko dito. Um. But luckily for me, I also applied to UCLA. So I got accepted na rin there. So I went there na lang instead for engineering. Oh, were you able yeah. to finish your college? No, I did not finish there. I went, I, I I left there and I went to Cal State LA and then I started cheerleading. I got discovered kasi Mm-mm. walking the street from my house across the street. Na discover ako ng photographer na of a magazine mm-hmm. and binigyan ako ng card. Have you ever considered modeling? For me, growing up, I always you wanted to be. You were how old then? I was only 17. Okay. But for me, in high school, I always wanted to be the pretty girl. I never felt like I was pretty. Kasi I was always the bookworm. I was always the smart one. Pero hindi ako yung maganda, you know, like ganun. Mm. When I was offered that, syempre yung, wow, you think I can model? So talagang na-starstruck ako dun sa idea ng modeling. And that's how everything started. I no longer wanted to do my stuff. Hindi ko na nang tinuloy. Oh, sayang. I know that my lola said, but I, it's okay. I used to regret it a little bit, but I know, but where I am now, it's oh, whatever yeah. it's supposed to, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, exactly. You know, so I don't Uh-oh. regret those Lahat things. you may trade off eh. Yeah, diba? I don't regret those little mm. things that I did yeah. na might have been life-changing or life-altering, but at the same time, I think I was going in the direction that the Lord wanted me to go. Kasi yung pagiging artista ko, Pwede ko na gamitin ngayon eh, yung pagka-popular ko para sa kanya eh. Para malaman ng lahat kung sino siya eh. You've been away for, from showbiz for quite a long time, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Pero, but you know, the name and Janet Abayari mm-hmm. stays. Hindi yan nawawala you. eh. So <laughs> anytime mag-gamba ka, there's always a room mm-hmm. for and Janet Abayari. Di ba? Paano ka na- nakapag-join sa ah. Binibining Pilipinas? This was in 1991. Yeah, because when I was modeling, uh, you know, Scout saw me and someone asked me if I wanted to actually... I wanted to try out for like a Miss something sa city ko. Kasi yung Miss Whittier was like, uh, that's where I live in Whittier. I wanted to try to be Miss Whittier because there was this girl in the other high school that was also pretty. Na nag-try siya na, she, was, she joined that year and I wanted to beat her for some reason. <laughs> My competitiveness. I said, ah, kaya ko bang mabit ito? That's how I started with the, con- I started joining beauty pageants. I won. So I was like, oh, I have a chance. You know, like, kanun pa rin ako. And then I started doing more, pa- I did Miss Asia USA. Oh. I did Miss Hollywood first. I got like um, first runner up. And then I did Miss Asia. Asia USA and dun sa Miss Asia USA yung chairman of the board of judges was Dr. Mansano. Oh, the late Dr. Yeah, yeah. Mansano. I know her. Yeah, yeah I know her. I know him. I know him personally. Already, yeah, no, away, like, oh, my, I'm sorry. Doc, sorry yeah, that, yeah, huh? but uh, and then he's the one that actually approached me at that pageant and asked me if I was interested in joining Binibini. Na sponsor sa akin papunta dito. Oh. Introduce niya ako kay Renee Salud, ba Renee Salud na naging ano ko um, yeah. nagdamit naging, sa akin. At saka naging sa... mentor mo dito yes. sa Pilipinas. Yeah. So, so that's, that's how I started. That's how I came to arrive and and um, just go for it. And you won Binibining and Pilipinas <laughs> Universe. Yeah, I did. For how many months? Yeah, for, my gosh, it's only like, I three or four months long. <laughs> oh, oh, and then, of course. I won forever, but I had to resign. I know. But yeah. what made you resign and give up your title? The truth crown? is, may nagsumbong sa akin galing dito sa atin na hindi ko na meet yung requirement ng residency yes. na dapat na six months dapat ang right. mananalo. Right. And uh, yung mga Miss Universe pageant officials naman sinabi sa akin na this is the first time their own country is telling on themselves. You know, yeah. so I like I felt bad because like, my gosh, my own countrymen are the ones who are, want me to be tanggal. Uh, you were not pushed by Binibining Pilipinas to resign, right? No, no, no. It was, I, well, I had to resign. Somebody made me sumbong sa Miss Universe. So I had uh. to resign. I, well, what am I going to do? I'm not going to fight this. Miss Universe is already in a... Uh, the reason, I could have maybe fought it, but then what would that have happened? What would have happened if I fought it and I wouldn't have given another chance, an, another person the chance to prepare? Eh, hindi ako ganun eh. I already won. Yeah. Okay, I proved it na. 
So if they want to give me a hassle and give me those hard times, fine, I'll resign so that whoever will take my place has enough time to prepare for the pageant. Why will I do that? Because selfish naman. For me, I'm not gonna go down to that level of selfishness. Gusto ko lang, sige, okay, sige na, I'll resign na lang. Para kung sino man yung pipiliin nila na to, to follow in my place, will have the chance to prepare at least a little right. bit of time. Kasi right. hindi naman, you cannot go to a pageant unprepared. Pero how nakakalungkot lang, no? Yeah, of course. Kasi kapwa mo kababayan. Yeah. You know, this crab mentality. Mm-hmm. Yung crab mentality mm-hmm. talaga That's where I learned Pinoy. that. Yeah. I never yeah. heard that term yeah. before until yeah. I... Came here. Doon mo lang naintindihan mm, ko ano yung crab mentality. Mm, no, yeah. Diba? At saka yung mga sina, may sinabi pa rin silang isang na kung when you're blooming, like somebody, the, uh, parang yeah, yeah, yung, yeah, yeah. yung, yung, yung binabato hitik, yung... Yung hitik na bunga, uh, diba? Yung binabato or something. Yun ang, uh, yeah. Yes, binabato. Yeah. Totoo yeah. yun. I heard that also here. Yeah, I said, right. oh, now Totoo I understand. Yun. Totoo yun. Actually, so, it's so sad that, that, that the world is like this. Yes. But you know, but it, it doesn't only totally happen here in the Philippines. No, it happens everywhere. Sa ating mga kababayan sa ibang bansa, yeah. lalo na sa Amerika. Actually, it happens to the whole, oh, everybody in the world. Everybody. Diba? In the world. Actually, yes. it's really, because it's a fallen world. But basically, world, more on Filipinos. Nakakalungkot lang. Pero yeah, totoo maybe. namang maugali natin yung mga Pinoy. Yeah. I know, no? I Even in that. the U.S., grabe yeah. doon. I know, but grabe that's why I'm not very much friends with many Filipinos, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> because I just don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah. Ayoko Totoo lang. Yun, Gusto ko lang yung kahimik lang. Pero naging, ano to, blessing in this, guys. Yeah. Dahil ito ang naging pasaporte mo sa showbiz. Yeah. Right? Actually, yeah. Yun, uh, yeah, yun ang dahilan ko. And then naman kasi ang pangalan ko sa dalaw, pangalawang controversy, di ba? Na kung yes. sino yung nag-date sa ako right, right. na nagalit yung manager niya. Right. Naging ano yung pangalan ko for a while, known. Yes, yes. Naniniwala ka ba na ang isang showbiz personal, especially showbiz ha, pag walang kontroversiya, parang you're not existing. Especially here in the Philippines. Maybe diba? here in the Philippines. Yeah, right. right. Kasi sa states iba eh. Kasi right. sa states, kahit, kasi kung tahimik ka sa states, it doesn't mean you're not existing. It's because it takes so much longer for production in the states. You know, you could be like not talking about for two years. That's because you've been working on one movie for two years. Here, it's not like that because movies take so quick to do here. So maybe here it's true. But, you know, not everywhere. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I, I don't think the man, uh, just the way showbiz runs here, you know, it's just a very um, cutthroat world. Totoo yun. You should always learn something from everything that you do and everything that surrounds you. You should always keep your eyes open for the new things that you can discover and learn. Dapat ganun lagi eh. But in fairness din to you, palagi ko kaakibat mo na talaga or kakambal mo ng intriga. Because when you were very active, when you yeah. were very active, I'm not kidding, this yeah. is true. When you were very active in showbiz, grabe, kabi-kabila. Ay, bakit ganoon? kabi kaya kaya ang Anjanit Abayari ay talagang... Hindi, hindi ko naman sinasadya. I know, yung iba I know. talagang sinasadya yung controversy, hindi, hindi diba? Hindi mo rin Ako, gusto. Hindi ko naman hinahalo. Hindi mo rin naman gusto. Pero wala nga, nangyayari nga eh. Yeah, I know, grabe. I think that was, palagi ko, it was part of the design. Yes, yeah, siguro. Tama ba yun? Yeah. Because I think I no, I agree with you. It was part of the design. Diba? Because had I not gone through those things, there's nothing for me to share now. Right. Ano ba right. you share ko lang hindi lang to share mo. You diba? become also an inspiration to other people. Yes, yes. Because sa mga pinagdaanan mo. Yes. Diba? Mm-hmm. You learn from your own mistakes, yes. pero at the same time, ang ibang tao may napupulot sa iyo. Yes, I would like to do that. I like to, I would right. like to I'm going to start a podcast and share those things. Right. I want right. to share things that um, even for the newcomers just for young ladies in general, of the things I've gone through and learned, and how much you have to keep the Lord as a part of your life. Kasi dito sa showbiz, madaling mawala sa yung sarili mo. Madaling mawala yung sarili mo sa yung. Like, you know, it's easy for you to forget who you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, right, right. So, if I'm not saying, I'd better say Parang English. nakakain ka rin ng sistema eh, right? Kasi the world uh, lures you eh. Right, diba? The world right. is full of anything, everything to lure you. Mm. Diba? Just like the devil lured Jesus. Like, oh, you can have everything. Yeah, right. A lot of people fall for that. You know, oh, yeah, I want everything. Diba? And kung if hindi ka grounded kay Lord, wala, dun ka na. But before that, we're talking about b- bago mo in-embrace si Lord sa oh, buhay mo. Oh. Ibang-ibang ang Janet. Kaya oh, nga sabi ko nga, the first time, iba. diba? Sabi, yeah. ko, sabi ko, am I talking to ang Janet yeah. Bayari? <laughs> diba? I know, Kasi, as I, I diba? recall, I was very always in the news for something. Always. <laughs> Ay, sa sabi ko, always. But in, always. not because I was meaning to be. No, no, no. I'm not, not, not really. Why. Not really. Yeah. Diba? Grabe ka. Even sa pagdating buhay. sa mga personal mga, no? Yeah. Pati sa love life mo, yeah, controversial. Diba? There was also a particular person yeah. na naging bahagi ng buhay mo. Mm. Sabihin ko naging bahagi. At is, na isang iskandalo rin ang kinasangkutan mo. Sabihin na natin, yeah. this was in October yeah. 1999 in yeah. Guam. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. But this person I'm mm-hmm. referring to, 
mm. took advantage of you. Mm. Napatawad mo na ba ang tao ngayon? Yes. I can honestly say yes. Kasi, wow. pero nangyari lang ito just last year siguro. I was praying about it so long. Lord, show me how to forgive. Kasi hindi ko mapatawad lahat ng ginawa sa akin. Matagal na, di ba? So, yeah, like it was yeah. way so heavy. I mean, I could not forgive it. I could not forgive all the things na nang, nangyari sa buhay ko, na, na ginawa sobre sa akin. Sobra yun, sobra yun. Sobra. So, uh-huh. Lord, please, please show me how to forgive. Please, please show me how to forgive. Nangyari, you know, Lord answers, the Lord answers prayers. If you really, if it's from your heart and it's what He wants, He wills, He'll answer your prayer. Because I prayed for it for so long and He said, and then biglang may pinadala sa akin si Joy Ortega na sa messenger ko, oh, yeah. na news. Yeah. Ayun na, yung news. Uh, I, Nung nabasa ko yung news, biglang nawala lahat ng galit at ano ko. Parang hindi ikaw ang gumawa, di ba? Yeah. Sabi ko, Uh-oh. wow, I'm, I felt sorry na lang. Naawa na ako. I said, and then I realized right away that that was the Lord's way of showing me how to forgive because He always avenges His kids. He always takes care of us. Everything that was meant for the devil meant for bad, he always changes to good. So if we're just patient, gagawin niya para sa yun eh. So na realize ko doon na, oh, because if the Father in heaven doesn't, you don't forgive, the Father in heaven will not forgive you, diba? So I was really scared. <laughs> scared ako kasi hindi ko ma forgive eh. Saka ang dali magsabi ng why don't you forgive, oh, oh. Yeah, diba? it's so easy to say, but, but right, it's so hard to right. do. Yeah, right. But but he gave me a way to forgive. After you know, so many when, years, yeah. Yeah. more than ten years, more, yeah, more, more than twenty. Twenty na. Twenty years, more than twenty years. More, more than twenty years, so, diba? So ginawan niya ng parang. Pero tagal, ang tagal yeah. din sa part mo. Like, yeah. You know, maybe forgiving is even easier than forgetting. Oh yeah, oh, much diba? easier. I don't oh, forget diba? ever. Oh. You don't oh. have to forget. Diba? You, that's something you have to learn from. You don't forget. Mm-hmm. But you have to learn to forgive. And and sometimes it's impossible. That's why I prayed about it. Because only the Lord can find a way to show you how to forgive anyone. And na hindi mo akalain yung way na yun. Tingnan mo ang nangyari. Yung way na yun, doon ako nagka, ano, nagkaroon ng... At wala kang ng... ginawa. Wala. wala that, not because of me. I didn't yeah, do anything. Right, I didn't. Right. I don't have to do anything. It, it does it have to be you. No, diba? because God always takes care of His right, children. Right, right, yeah, yun na So Uh-oh. yun, parang, thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew, I learned na talaga na how to forgive. I learned to let it go. Learnings. Even more, even more some. <laughs> what are the learnings? I mean, you've been through a lot. You, there was a time also na tinuring kang person non non grata oh, yeah, of course, yeah. during the time of yeah, president of course, yeah. era, di ba? Mm-hmm. Paano mo ito hinanda lahat? Kasi parang the controversies, the scandals were, was coming one after the other. Na parang bang may gat kung mahina na lang loob mo. Yeah, you no. Could, because have... of those controversies and scandals, naging malakas ang loob ko. Oh, yes. naging, naging strong, naging thick ang skin ko. Because I'm very sensitive. I'm a very sensitive person, but I cannot show that. Because I will much more. They will attack me, di ba? So naging makapalang skin ko na noon. Like, it grew through the years. Bawat controversy was nothing to me. Because those things pass. I never took any of those controversies, like, heavily. Kasi I knew it wasn't, I wasn't doing anything eh. Pero yung, yung, yung persona ng gata, yung nangyari noon, ako ang may kasalanan noon. Kailangan tanggapin ko yun if I wanna learn from it. If you don't accept your mistakes, you'll never be able to get up and dust off and learn from them. How will Correct. you grow? You will never grow if you don't accept your mistakes and learn from them and don't dwell in them. Hindi wag mong gawin yun na yun. Because it's never over until the Lord says. Ang mahirap nito, hindi lang ikaw ang personal na saktan. Yeah. It was um hard for me because I was so ashamed also, di ba? Yung parang shame and guilt and all those things. If your family is your really your family, they love you. I never once felt anything but love from my family. Lahat ng family ko, kahit sino man sa fam, cousins, anyone, everyone, nobody ever treated me any differently than who I was. Like, I was still... Mas naging sympathetic pa sila siguro sa'yo, mas naging supportive pa yes. sila, mas naging understanding yes, pa sila sa'yo. Yes, they were always there diba? for me. Right. Yung talagang, if I would have just what, called, made a call, like, help me, they would have been there. What about your friends? Well, <laughs> ganun eh. I only had a few friends during no time like Boy Abunda I have to say is like one of my real friends no time na yon kasi up till na hindi ka tinalikuran oh yeah hindi diba? ay mga ginawa nga siya na hindi ko nalaman until later na I was so touched about cuz the things that he did for me even when I was not here were so like what a real friend does for some for another friend yan ang mga ganda eh diba yeah. oh, di- and I only had a few of them like you know si Jorge Tega is also a friend but pero, pero 
Everybody else, well, you know, I, I like I kind of disappeared. Like I can, I can name my friends like in one hand lang. Si Lizelle Martinez din. Oh, yeah. Kaibigan na kaibigan ko yun. Yeah. Bait, isa pang yeah. napakabait na tao. Yeah. My cousin Arabelle, uh -oh. she was also always there for me. Hindi siya showbiz, pero friend na friend. You know who are the real people that love you naman eh. To sum it up, I'll just have to say that never let go. Yun ang sum up ko eh. He's always... Uh, Don't give up. Never give up. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding always. Trust in the Lord. That's my sum up because we will always have our own decisions, our own understandings. Pero when you trust in the Lord, He will never fail you. Yun na ang ano ko ngayon eh. <laughs> on the lighter side, okay. <laughs> you met your husband when? Dahil alam ko, wala, kang, wala siyang kaalam-alam kung sino si Angelina yeah, Abayari sa Pilipinas. Uh, you were no celebrity to her. No, 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 okay. not at all. Can, can you make kwento? Kasi I met him nung um, inimbita ako sa Bible study ng kaibigan ko. Siya yung Bible study teacher. Hindi, hindi niya alam kung sino ako kasi he's been in the States since 79, 5. So, he didn't know. Oh, 90s ka lang pumasok yeah, yeah. sa showbiz. So, oh. 90s pa lang ako, tapos bumalik na ako. So, oh. wala siyang kaalam-alam kung sino ako. And, and then, he didn't even ask me out eh. He asked me out through my friend. Ganun siya ka mahinihin or whatever. <laughs> or old-fashioned, I don't know. But she asked me out for dinner. He was there with another couple. I didn't know that he had. He was the one who um, instigated the whole thing. So, hindi ko siya pinansin. Kasi hindi ko naman alam kung sino siya, baka mamaya date ng friend ko or something, mm -hmm. di ba? I know he's a Bible study teacher, but who else is he? Mm -hmm. And then, we had another date naman daw, nung pinaano niya yung mga anak ko, he wanted to meet them na. To see if they were good or bad kids, because that will decide for him if he's gonna pursue me. My second date with him, he asked for my kids. I did not know his our date, still didn't know his date. Kasi pagdating ko sa restaurant, kasama mga anak ko, nandun siya, kasama yung kaibigan ko ulit. So, akala ko sila na. <laughs> so, syempre, I was like, oh, okay, they're together. How nice. Uh -huh. But I was like wondering, why, bakit ako iniyaya ulit ng friend ko for the second dinner again? And then this time with your kids. Yeah, like, oh. why? You know, she never hardly ever asks me to have dinner. And then that night, I learned that why, that it was Gary who invited. Ayun. So, ako naman nag sa kanya to go to Disney on Ice with my kids to see how he would interact naman with them. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then from there, he was we, making paramdam na. Yeah. So okay. then from there, we would we dated, you know, and stuff. And pisinami niya kagad sa akin that he's a ministry man. He, he's all about the Lord. And if I'm going to go back back to the Philippines, because alam niya dating actress daw ako sabi. He didn't know how. He didn't had no idea for how popular I was or anything. And he said, you know, if I'm going to be willing to support him in his ministry, he wants to lay it all on the table na. So, okay, game. I said. And I said, Lord, bakit ako nandito sa Filipino? <laughs> you know, like, hmm, you really know how to like change my our hearts, na huh, Lord? Because I, I, I never wanted to go out with a Filipino oh, yeah. before. Yeah, because of what had happened to you. Just, the, the I just don't like right. Filipinos. And then I was like falling in love with this Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> so yun, that's how we met. And then, nalaman na lang niya na kung sino ako nung nag-cruise kami sa Alaska. Uh -huh. Kasi pagdating sa boat, Ma'am, Anjanette, we've been waiting for you. Biglang, why are they waiting for you? <laughs> <laughs> tapos, I don't know. Kunyari pa ako eh. Kasi tapos nag-dinner kami sa, you know, like on the cruise, you have like this formal dining. Right, right. Pagdating namin doon, yung pinakagitna ng dining, na two floors, nasa ilalim ng pinakamalaking chandelier. Wow. May table doon. Oh. Doon na kaming dalawa. Uh -oh. Where's everybody else? I know this is just your table, ma'am. Huh? <laughs> wow, I felt like special a, dinner. So sabi niya, On a why, cruise. Yeah, why are we being treated like this? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Tapos ayun na, mga waiters na dumating, dumarating na. Ma'am, paki-picture po. Ma'am, ah, wala na. Sabi na, binulgar na, na lang sa. Hindi mo ba siya kilala? She's very famous in the Philippines. Good lang. Oh my God, how am I going to eat now? I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act. He's very private. Uh, all right, right, right. I, I know. Like, uh -huh. But that's how, it, uh, that's how he found out I was famous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, and then, I mean, you know, but it was okay. We, we, we managed. <laughs> you know, we managed. It was fun. It was a, no, it was a nice courtship. <laughs> okay. Uh, how long did it take for him to make the proposal? Right away. Talaga? Yeah, within the year. Oh, oh. So, hindi yeah. niya pinatagal. Hindi no, niya kasi, pinatagal. Kasi pina, sinabi na niya lahat eh. So, kung game ako, game. He laid his cards yeah, on, the on the table right away. Right oh, away. Right away. So, like, the, that way there's no, you know, there's 
we're not getting any younger. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah, he just told me what if I was if it was something that I would like also. Do I do I desire the the quiet life that that follows the Lord? And so yeah, you know, and then that's what I really wanted anyway. You know, I really have that heart for Jesus. So. At saka ang, ang importante dito, nag-reach out siya, lalo na sa mga kids mo. Oh, yeah. Ang, ang kinonsider, hindi lang ikaw. Yeah. But it's all, but it, uh, most especially yeah. your kids. Yeah. Diba? And, and he's just a great mentor to them. Right. He's just such a wonderful husband. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, it's okay. really, like, I, somebody told me earlier, the man I prayed for is still the one I prayed with. Habang buhay na yan. <laughs> Message mo kay Gary, sa husband mo. Oh, I love you, babe. <laughs> Yun lang message ko every day na eh. Ah, okay. You're really, you're, you're everything and more that I could have ever hoped for. And I know that I saved myself for the right person. And know? of course, for your sons. And for my sons, I love you guys and you're the best and stay on the right path. Always remember who gave you all your blessings. Never forget. And I love you forever and until death. <laughs> Talaga. At para sa lahat? And para sa lahat na nanonood, maraming salamat. Thank you for your continued support and your love and everything, um, your acceptance and um, thank you. And abangan nyo yung susunod namin pagbalik. <laughs> At magbabalik showbiz ka. Yes. Eh? Yun ang kakatuwa yeah. nila, yeah. di ba? Yeah, so, yeah. And always pray. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Yun Go, ahead. My Go ahead. Channel, Go so ahead. My YouTube channel is always Jesus Ministries. Just look for that. Kung gusto niyo marinig ng mga Bible verses, kung gusto niyo makatulog na may nakaplay sa sa TV niyo na Bible verses or on your phone, it's always Jesus Ministries. Your message to boy. Oh no, boy knows how much I love you. I love you so much, boy. I thank you for being who you have been to me in my life ever since pa. I thank you for never changing and for always being there for me. And I love you always. And with that, maraming maraming salamat, mm, anak. Thank you, Thank you so much. You just, maraming maraming salamat sa Pandan Asian Cafe. Dennis, of course, uh, Roland, and Alvin. Everbelena, Hello Glow, Beauty Derm, Eris Beauty Care, Aficionado by Joel Cruz, Doc Rabs Wellness Supplements, R&A Events Place by Richie Ang, Asia Slashes, Sugar White by Sugar Mercado, Nessa Silly Salon for my hair and makeup. Gandang Rick Reyes. Most View from Japan. Memoy.ph. Silkwell Joy Furnitures. Marami salamat Charles Solano of Solano Hotel. Colorete Clothing by Bebot Santos. Dr. M. Sevilla of Vine Aesthetics. Shinagawa LASIK and Aesthetics Center. Shinagawa Diagnostic and Preventive Care Center. Neola Nail and Spa. Manila Bulletin. Studio Manila, Tokyo Grill, Tomas Morato, Mesa, Tomas Morato, The Red Meat Shawarma. Maraming maraming salamat, Chef John. And with that, mga kaibigan, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay, pagsuporta sa TikTok with After Amor. Every Tuesday and Fridays na po tayo napapanood, 12 noon. At mga kaibigan, maraming maraming salamat po. Huwag niyong kakaligtaan mag-subscribe, mag-like, share, and hit the ball icon of TikTok with Aster Amoyo. God Hanggang bless. sa muli, mga kaibigan. God bless us all. Bye for now.